are you blind? Well, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. Let's just not say anything to him. <laughs> we don't have fuck. time for him. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Let's not say who else anything. is to blame if not you? See, even Bigby agrees with me, as incompetent as he is. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? I know she's Suspects? a little upset with me anything. now, but she shouldn't anything have said anything. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. You can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. He's a real dick. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. I told you not to tell him. I know. I probably should have listened to you. Not probably, oh, woman. You should Crane have. doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. <laughs> How are you today, Mr. Bigby? His Bigby? eyes are really creepy. It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buffkin finds them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Now, someone did say that Hi, this is Snow White. Ichabod could possibly be. Hi, yes, I'm just calling to let you know that uh, Mr. Crane's schedule seems to have filled up. The girl. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. He does really have a lot of excuses. Yes, too. that's like, right. He goes to his massages. Mm -hmm.
really tells what's gonna happen. Yes, like right I there, mean, she trusted, trusted the wolf, it only and then the amount. It seemed she died. Ex this last tarot card. Damn. What the fuck is Ten this? Ten of swords. Be? Somebody. Well, maybe that's that means not what that I somebody have here. will backstab. I can look through it again and get back to you. Maybe that's what's next hey, to come. Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Let's ask about the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Let's ask about Buffkin. Show me Buffkin. Hey! <laughs> put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Now I'll ask about, um... I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Okay. Nobody right now. Very really well. Really Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so let's go ahead and go look into the books. Um, well, we won't ask him about the tarot card yet. We have to come back to him anyway. I do look like, uh, I do like looking in the back and seeing all the different types of like artifacts, I guess, like that were in the different types of fables. I did see the sword in the stone earlier in the scene. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. So that's the Three Little Pigs, Beauty and the Beast. Here's Big B. Me. Snow White. Oh my. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. They're creepy. Seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the symbol. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairo? I'll go look it up. Alairairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as. 
Askin. <laughs> uh, it prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's really sad. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Well, we have to, um... Notify him. No, I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. She was, after all, a working girl. She had a pimp. Let's go talk to Mirror again. We can ask the Mirror about uh, the tarot card, and then Faith, as well as Prince Lawrence. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Yeah, but still, the first two cars are pretty damn Mirror, accurate. mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Let's ask about Faith's father. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess okay, that crosses so him off the suspect list. He's dead, and he also has his ring. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. So it could have been her ring. These lips are sealed. Or her It's not mother. my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. So he's pretty bloody What's though. he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Most definitely. Nobody right now. Right now, Anything we're done we with use? this room? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. We can go to Prince Lawrence's house. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Big B, it's for you. Big B, it's me, Toad. You there? Yep. What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. We're ready.
Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? Okay, so in my walkthrough, I went to Toad's place first. Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. For my alternative playthrough, I'm going to be going to Lawrence's apartment. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Although it would be nice if we could stop the person 